between two yetis here with Jack Litterback. How are you, sir? Good to see you, Zach. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. I've known you for nearly 10 years now. Yeah, it's I amazing, think yeah, just, just about 10 years. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, so tell everyone a little bit about what you do. Obviously, you're with Bradford's Marine. But yeah, uh, tell so us a little bit about that and your new product line here. Yeah, so we've been uh, humming away at the brokerage at Bradford Marine for the past, you know, several years now. We've been growing. We were up to about 60 boats a year now as far as sales go. And we were looking for a fantastic new yacht line to bring to Bradford and uh, add a new boat to our, our brokerage boat collection. So we found New Marine. It's a fantastic fit for Bradford. The quality is second to none. Right. And I'm extremely proud to represent this company. And where are they built? Are they uh, an Italian boat or? No, we're actually, we're built in Istanbul, Turkey. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and uh, we have about nine boats in the US so far and over 110 in Europe. Right okay. now we have about $40 million worth of boats under production. Wow, that's cool. And a couple of them are coming to the United States. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much. Okay, not a problem. I mean, it's cool. I'm looking at you all over here. You've got the Explorer series, which is kind of like a, a trawler style. Or? Yeah, New Marine, uh, you know, we've, like I said, we've built about 110 boats so far. And as our clients have aged, they've changed their demands. And right. they're not looking for speed so much as they're looking for comfort as they retire. So we designed the Expedition series for absolute comfort and any kind of sea condition. So as clients get older, the Expedition Series is there, and even for younger couples that like to travel anywhere in the world, 2,000 mile range on our smallest Explorer. Wow, that's cool. Up to 4,500 mile range on our largest Explorer, so you can really touch any point of Earth. Are you finding that a lot of people who are buying boats now want to do more with their boats? I mean, I was just speaking with Outer Reef, and they are they couldn't wait to tell me that one of their boats just rounded the Cape. And they're like, wow, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing for a boat to be able to do. Are people wanting to go further and further now? We weren't expecting the kind of response on the expedition line that we've had. It's been probably three times what we were expecting. It really seems to be a trend in the yachting industry to build really far expedition boats that can really go anywhere in the world. Even if customers don't have the time of day to really travel that far, they send their boats there with the captains and fly in and it gives them a home, away from home. Yeah, absolutely. That's very cool. <laughs> we are at pre-recession levels at Bradford. Our shipyard right now is booked out for about three months on the haul out. Wow, our, wow. our yard, we have over 11,000 linear feet of dock space. We're at max capacity right now. We haven't seen this in years. Wow. Cus customers are painting their boats again. It's not so much just about having a big boat. People yeah. are having immaculate big boats again, which is a huge change from the past seven years. Well, that's great. That I've noticed. You guys are great customers of ours. I mean, you do a wonderful job with our product. Yeah. Um, but yeah, your yard's huge. I mean, you've got more covered dock space that you can do paint and everything. We're in the largest family owned and operated undercover marina in the United States. That says it all right there. That's very, yeah. very cool. Are uh, we okay? Can we come in and do a, a yard walk around with, uh, do a film on there? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be cool if you could take us around. And yeah. We obviously don't want to see Hank because, you know, he's a miserable fucker. But oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're back to we're back to over 200 full-time employees. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And that's not including the Bahamas. How that's just in Fort Lauderdale. Now, here's an interesting thing. How is the All Aboard Florida train going to affect your business? I don't think it's going to really affect us at all. I mean, it's going to close the bridges down a little bit more often. But you just plan accordingly when you're coming in or out. It's interesting. At the, when it first was announced, everyone was up in arms about it. How this is going to shut down all the marinas, including yours, yep. up by the 95. Oh, I'm not happy about it. I've never seen a private train company make a profit. Uh, it seems like a total hoax to me. But right, <laughs> you know, I, I wish them all the best. I don't think it's really going to affect us that much. If anything, our towing business may get a little bit more money. Okay, that's the pos first positive spin I've heard on that. Yep. But, uh, oh. Most of the shipyards don't have their own in-house towing team, so. And Bradford's does. Yep. What do you call the Brad towing boat? He's got a the name. The Hero. It's called the Hero. The Hero. Interesting. I always see it in the boat parade. Yep. And uh, we've won uh, last year. We won uh, first place as far as corporate corporate yachts go with the Hero. Cool. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, very cool. Absolutely. That's very cool. Well, we are between two yetis, Jack. Thank you very much for your time. Pleasure, Zach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good. And we are back between two yetis again with James Bateman. How are sir, you, sir? How are you? Fantastic. Oh, yeah. James, as you probably saw in the previous episode, is with Prop Speed. But what we're going to talk about today is that he is president of the Young Professionals in Yachting, which mm -hmm. I am a member as well, <coughs> or called the YPY. Yep. So tell us about it. 